Hello, my friend. My name is Alexander Richter. I'm a technical director. And today I would like to show you all the basic tools I wrote for my open source pipeline Plex. This is an older video, so the quality and performance is just okay. But I still think there is a lot here to learn and inspire. Enjoy. The batch will add some pipeline paths and start the custom user setup. The splash screen shows on one hand the pipeline Maya and on the other hand which status you use, work or publish. Before going deeper into the overview, let's start with the settings pie. Here you can see the main setup for the pipeline, starting with the project name, resolution, frame rate, the pairing of software and renderer to different paths and setups which are relative to be as path independent as possible. The command line provides the user transparency over the changes, adds, and tests availability of certain scripts and also plugins. Starting at runtime, the manuscript is activated and creates this pipeline menu sorted into categories and functions. Save, load, shading, rigging, animation, lighting, render, utilities, plugins, report, and help. It also adds the network shelf, which I share between the users to stay consistent. The shelf provides some similar scripts as the menu with save and law, some windows like outliner and hypershade, the main render man scripts, a lambic export, creating shader scene, combined shader and model, low and high render settings, report, and help. Let's start with save. As you can see, the current scene is untitled. If we trigger save, it will automatically start save as. On the left, you have the preview window of the current scene. And here are the categories like assets, shots, R&D. On the right are the tasks like modeling. And in the middle are the assets or the shots. You can also see if you change from shot to asset, all the tasks changes dependent on the category. By pushing the plus button, we can add a new shot or asset. The script will automatically create a preview either of the render view or the viewport. After typing the new name, you can choose the category and the task. At the bottom of the UI, you have the future save path, a folder button to open it up, the user and the report and help. After we have created a new shot, all the folders were added and the file was saved. If we press save in the saved scene, we will trigger the IR save, which looks close to the IR save as, but has some different features. There are three preview buttons. One creates a screenshot, the next takes the render of the render view, and the last, the selected viewport. With the up and down arrows, the user can change the version number to overwrite or create a different one. It is possible to choose a non-pipeline path, which is not advised. The Publish checkbox creates a published copy of a save. You can also add a comment to the file name with some limitations like character count. And as always, you have the save path and other features at the bottom of the widget. After saving the scene, we can also switch from save to save as. The purpose is that we can create a new shot out of the existing one staying pipeline conform. Next, we will start a new scene to show you the IR log. The IR log provides all the pipeline assets and shots which you can open up or reference into your existing scene. The preview helps to identify the different files which you can also open up to look closely. The IR log shares the same scripts and UI with IR save and IR save as which helps to create a consistency between the scripts to understand them easier and faster. Below the file selection is the modification date and the file size of the save. Let's open up our last scene. We can also add an asset to our scene. By pushing the P button, we get access to the publish file of the horse. Instead of load, we choose to reference the selected file. Let's render the current scene and publish it for a better representation. The scripts will build the published path which can be referenced in other scenes and will be overwritten by the next publishing. If we open up IR Lord after loading something, 
It will automatically memorize your last selection and provide you with the same on your next run. IR Lord can also open up texture files like PTEX by Disney in a special PTEX view. Opening up common file formats will trigger your standard viewer. You can also reference Alembic files into your scene. Next is the Alembic export. The script offers a variety of presets like camera, light and assets, which you can also ignore and choose to export the selected files. Check hidden will ignore hidden files during the export. Every mesh will get its own file if you don't select merge, which will create just one representation. The frame range is set by the start and the end points of the timeline and can be customized for this particular export. Let's open up the export path. The exported horse is in a specific alembic path. You can find this path in the path section of the settings pie. The adding a shading scene button will add a standard shading scene independent of the rendering specified in the settings pie because every renderer needs its own lights and shader. We currently use RenderMan, so we imported the RenderMan scene. Voila! To combine shader and model, I create a simple scene with some geometry and standard shader. Both get a specific naming structure in which the name of a geometry must be reflected in the name of a shader. After creating a shading group for every shader, they are applied automatically to the meshes. In the render settings, you can choose between low and high, which changes the settings dependency of the renderer. The report tool gives the artist an easy way to report errors and make suggestions to easy up their workflow. Let's write a report for IR Lord. What report provides is a title or the script name, a comment section, the error message and an image section. You can make a screenshot with one click or add an existing image and send it. Every administrator can change report to status report. Remember to reuse. Here you can see the mentioned title, comment, error message and open up the image. You can also see who has sent the report and which scene he had opened at that time. With a click on the software, he can open up the scene for a better understanding of the problem. Last but not least, we have Help, which can open up your pipeline page. The link for that is also saved in the settings pie. Thanks for watching. I hope this introduction gave you some ideas for your own pipeline. For more, check out my website alexanderrichtertd.com and I will see you on the next video.